I want you to try something with me just uh, just for a minute. And it's going to feel a little weird, but I promise it may just change the way that you look at photos and just memories in general. Try and um, honestly, if, if you would, just try and close your eyes. But if you can't do that, that's fine. I want you to think about the first time that you got your heart broken. And that may sound weird, but I, I want you to think back. Um, just that that moment of isolation, of feeling unworthy or unwanted. Feeling not just alone, but unnecessary to someone. Like you had invested yourself in something that hurt you so much more than you thought it could. I want you to, to remember sitting on the edge of your bed or on the floor. The only person that you wanted to talk to about how empty you felt is the one person that had left you behind. Those moments are pivotal. They just change who we are. They, they change the way that we see the world and they don't have to make it jaded, but they do add color. They add depth. And then I, I want you to think about the first time that you, that you lost a friend or a family member. The first time you experienced death. The person that can't be there on your wedding day or your birthday. That won't hold your hand again. Just picture that face. And that moment when eternity set in and you realized how temporary life is. And then you walked away from that moment and your life got deeper. Again, it got more rich, more color more depth and then somewhere along the way after heartbreaks and falls and scraped knees you grew up just enough to love somebody back and then to feel that love in return and here you are you're planning a new forever you're dreaming up what that looks like you have this face that doesn't change the heartbreak, that doesn't fix the insecurity, but they're still there. And every time you look in the mirror, whether you feel beautiful or you feel ugly or you feel unwanted, whatever you see, there's this other person that sees more in you. And you want to see the world the way they see you and you suddenly find more depth and more color. Now go look through photos of moments in your life that changed everything. The outtakes, the laughter, the, the closed eyes, the memories, not the smiles, but the real stuff. And I want you to picture your wedding photos. I want you to picture these images that you're going to pass to your kids and your grandkids. That someday somebody will talk about you and your love story the way that you held hands, the way that you grew old, someone will talk about you after you're gone. And these photos will explain that story. And then I want to challenge you to find a way for your photos to have that depth, that color. Take everything that you are and everything that you're not and everything that is broken about you and everything that is healed and restored and all of your hopes and all of your insecurities and all of the future and the past and you right here, right now, as a broken but still loved person, take that into your wedding photos and let your wedding photos tell that story to the generations, to the legacy of people who are going to look to you for what love is. More depth, more color.